Welcome everyone back to another Inktober drawing. Uh, today, day 14. Man, we're almost, uh, almost at the halfway mark. And today, I'm drawing a pumpkin thing related, and it will be a pumpkin monster, sort of. Um, to be honest here, it's really, really referenced. Uh, well, I'm using, well, I'm using the reference of Koro Sensei from Assassination Classroom, and the Japanese name, which I don't remember at the moment. Um, of course, because there's a lot of monster uh, figures I've been drawing to get into comics in November. That's a loud bus. And this one's really inspired by it. I don't think he's uh, quite finished yet. Well, of course, there will be a pretty kind of finished work at the end of this video. But more of his concept art isn't quite finished because it's still too much of a resemblance to Koro Sensei. Um, but I do like it. To be basic, it's just a pumpkin that's been animated to have more life, uh, intelligence, and whatnot. So it has more vines, which act as, as his main body, uh, arms, and feet. Which is something you can really see that as Scorch Sensei as well. The, the pumpkin is head, of course, and the vines being the tentacles. So there you go. That's where I got the idea. Um, there's a couple of different pumpkin monster variants that I've seen in my day. In my day, I'm not that old. Um, and I'm sure I'll be able to find a different way to use it, to use this character. I, I do like the whole idea of a pumpkin face. He will we'll probably remain a teacher, because he has that, that pre pretty authoritative figure. Which is weird, because if you think about vines, they don't really have a figure at all. But I think he'd be a pretty comical, comical character because you can change his face like an instant but you can have like five different phases so it's not a lot of like, like this really exact exaggerated uh, things like you can have a very sad one a very happy one and you, the way it changes you can I can just make it comical so I'm uh, happy about the idea of a pumpkin like teacher but it's still too much because divine kind of creatures like things that have a lot of conceal concealment uh, usually wear those long drapey outfits and just the way it is like the big head defines and whatnot it's just too much coro sensor so i need to change it a little bit probably the hat needs to be changed but i do the hat's so fun it's it'll need some work i don't need some thought and debate going to it when I start using the actual character but for now it's just Inktober I just want to draw this concept I had based on Carl since I use this reference so it's really based on him to get the uh, little idea I use the reference of Carl since mostly for the jacket which is something I probably should change but anyway yeah um, I don't really know much of his uh, Character wise, he's probably also gonna be a not very. He's not gonna be a strict uh, teacher. Probably gonna be more of a uh, more comical. I, like, this is the second teacher I've drawn now. Uh, first one being the Spider Woman. Spider Woman was more like a. Uh, was a nice teacher, but strict, but kind of strict. I think. It, it might also be a, very, a timid one. I'm not sure yet. Like, uh, probably well, a timid one would have. would a uh, uh, more angry side. It's probably good for that character if, if you're really upset or you're kind of fucked and this one is really comical um, but more like also has a little bit of a uh, more aggressive side but will probably remain comical it sounds pretty good like he can get quote unquote serious with his business but he'll like he, he'll have that one moment and I just flick back to his usual self I think that'll work with this one um, I'm probably gonna have to do at least one like really really strict teacher like I want them all to be actual good teachers maybe the gym uh, whatever will be like a werewolf and it won't be that he won't be that uh, serious about teaching I don't know yet but, but I, I do need a actual heart uh, like a for kids annoying teacher like a good teacher but he's really cranky and all that 
that's going to be some thinking about what I want to apply for that. But uh, anyway, that's for another video when I start drawing that character, which I don't have any ideas for yet. But that'll be that. Now, this isn't a very complicated drawing. It took me roughly half an hour to make. Uh, I didn't want to actually color it at all in the beginning, but then I was like, ah, whatever, I'll just do it. It'll be black and white later on when I do the fucking comic uh, anyway, so I can just try some colors on its basic green and orange and, uh, and whatnot. It's not extremely artsy, but you know, that'll be good. Um, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I hope you like the character and if you do please comment down below you, that you do or like the video or whatever. Subscribe to see future videos, uh, entire October will be one video a day so stick around for that and after that I'll, it'll be a little bit uh, less tight schedule with some bigger videos coming up. And uh, yeah that's really that, follow my twitter so I have a reason to tweet and check out my Deviant Art for pieces that I upload, the full pieces, whatever. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.